The engine's nice and clean, so now it's time to put a new clutch on the car. We're going to go with the Stage 2 clutch from Spec, which should give us a little more holding power once we start to modify the car and make more power. Um, another thing we have to do before we put the engine and the transmission in the car is remove the center differential and the rear uh, case in the transmission. Um, the 818 is driven by the front output shafts on the stock WRX transmission, which means this isn't going to do us much good. The valve are incredibly high tolerant. The most important part of the entire car is that those are See how they're all very steady. I know, it's weird. I got a score right here. Oh. Um, obviously this clutch and flywheel have seen better days. Um, you can see in the pressure plate here, all the little cracks. You can see how rough the flywheel is and how it's cracked too. And you can see how there really isn't any friction surface left on the clutch. So uh, we bought a new clutch on a whim, to just in case we were going to make a lot of power. And now it's pretty obvious that the car wouldn't have really driven without one. Okay, our friends at Spec Clutch have given us a aluminum flywheel. The uh, pressure plate and the stage two clutch plate. Their kits come complete. Even the if, even if you don't get the flywheel, you get a roller pilot bearing. You get the throw out bearing, clutch alignment tool. Uh, this hardware came with the flywheel. And let's say you had a problem with your clutch and you tore up this friction material. Instead of having to buy a whole new flywheel, they sell just the friction ring. Unbolt it, bolt the new one in, good as new. Okay, right now we're going to take and convert this into a front wheel drive transmission only and get rid of the, the rear drive. So we've loosened this nut here and we're going to take off one spline seal. There is one hardened washer, one needle bearing truss washer, and a second hardened washer. one coming off because it's got the thick grease on it. Life's hard. So this is the Factory 5 supplied adapter. It's got the big splines to fit on this shaft, little splines to fit on this one. So we're going to take it, slide it on, give it a little not much of a dip. Then we're going to put the washer back on. The single washer, not the big hardened washers. Put the nut back on. And now we have a two-wheel drive transmission, all ready to go.